Why is money important? Money is not everything. Money can't fix all your problems, they say. However, isn't it better to think about your problems? Seated in a Rolls Royce rather than in poverty? Okay, maybe I went overboard with the Rolls Royce part. But you get my point. Would you rather think about your problems in a full stomach, seated in your dream house, or in an empty stomach, struggling to pay your rent and other bills? I'm pretty sure your answer is the former. Who wants to work for free? Go out there. Work your ass out. To get nothing at the end of the month? Fine. Yeah, money won't give you everything you want. But it provides options for you to live a better life of your choosing and puts you in control. Knowing you are stuck somewhere because you need money to do something can be very frustrating. Take for example, not being able to get medical care when you're sick because you need money to get treated. A primary school teacher was once teaching and decided to challenge the students with a question outside the subject. She asked, if you were given the power to make a wish and choose one of these three options, what would you pick? Her options were money, fame, and power. One student raised up his hand and he said he would pick fame. When asked why, he said that being famous would make him easily have the other two, money and power. The second student to answer went ahead and chose power. Her argument was the same as the first student. Power will bring me money and fame at the same time, she said. Another student quickly shot up and said he will pick money. Why? The teacher asked. He went ahead to explain that when you have money, you become rich. Being rich in the society automatically brings you power since people respect rich people and are likely to put them in positions of power in order to please them. What quickly spreads around too when you're rich, making you famous? The teacher went ahead to show them how their answers were all right, but they missed one thing. Having money gives you independence and prevents you from tolerating a lot of unnecessary behavior from people. With fame, you have to be a people pleaser in order to retain the fame. Same case with power. You have to do the will of the people in order to retain power. With money, however, you can just be yourself and do what just pleases you. So there you have it again. What would you pick? Even the power to choose one? The teacher asked again. Money, fame, or power? The entire class went ahead to agree that money is better. Yes, some might argue that money can't buy happiness, but it can buy security and safety for you and your loved ones. Let's face it, you need money in order to pay for all the things that make your life possible, such as food, shelter, clothing, medical care, etc. With money, you don't have to worry about having a roof over your head, covering medical bills, getting education, or even having some food to eat. You may not need to be Elon Musk or Bill Gates in order to afford these things, but you need some money to survive through in life. You will at least get to enjoy middle class privileges when you have some money. Some people argue that money is the root of all evil, but in reality, money is just a medium of exchange. Everyone recognizes that money has value and it's the common item used to trade. Without money, for example, if you need to buy food, you will need to look for something that the seller needs in order to exchange it for food. Like in the past, before money was invented, people used to do butter trade when they would exchange items for other items or services. This was hard, as it was very difficult to know the true value of something. Imagine selling a pair of shoes and receiving a spoon in exchange, since you do not know the exact value of the pair of shoes. This can lead to exploitation. Therefore, we have to appreciate the fact that money helps us all very much. Money also enables you to pursue your dreams. With it, you can start a business you have always desired to start, travel to all the destinations you have ever wished to go, buy that dream car you have desired since you were a kid, etc. You can explore your hobbies and take risks with money. With enough money, you can actually walk away from a job you hate and not rely on anybody's financial support. You want to pursue a different career? Just pursue. You want to live on an island? Just move. When you have money, it enables you to explore opportunities and experience many things in life. Life is short and we only live through it once, so it makes sense to make the most out of it while we can. Money enables you to bust out of the bubble you live in and try new things. This gives you more happiness. Money enables you to give your loved ones more. If it is your family, for example, you are able to buy them things that make them happy. You can buy them gifts using money, provide them with education, and even give your children a better head start in life than others. Money puts you at a very advantageous position in life. Money lets you give back to the community. It reaches a point where you want to appreciate your community and maybe build a hospital, school, or even a road. 
you feel that you need to do something good. You need money to do this. Without money, it's very difficult to give back and do something significant. Also, having money enables you to make more money through investing. For example, if you have $2,500 and your goal is having $250,000, you can invest in a business using the $2,500 you already have in order to get the $250,000 with time. Of course, the question in how long now comes along. Money enables you to bring changes you wish. People with plenty of money are usually in high positions of power. With money, you can help bring changes by joining those positions of power and make policies that favor you. You can make changes you wish in government, push for new laws. Money determines who get power and who doesn't. For those who might argue morally that money is bad, the truth is, money has little to do with your morals. There is no grace in poverty. In fact, poverty brings high crime rates. There was once a man who was very rich, but lived in a society where his neighbors were poor and could not afford basic needs. This man could not live in peace, as every day he used to notice attempts of breaking in his house, and sometimes even theft on some of his property in the compound. One day, he decided to change his society settings. He started by creating job opportunities by starting companies and businesses in the community and offering job positions to his neighbors and members of his community. After a while, he noticed how theft and breaking attempts at his home had incredibly reduced. When people get access to money and can afford some of their needs, if not all, crime rates go low, since they still to afford items they need. When there is poverty in plenty in a society, cases of theft, murder, and low crimes, such as pickpocketing, go up. In a society where everyone has money and can afford basic needs, crime will be incredibly low in that area since they have all the money to afford their lifestyles. Therefore, having money is not evil. Not having it is, as it brings jealousy. There is no meddle in being poor, so society should stop selling people the notion that being rich is evil while being poor is holy. Money is very important in our lives, and we can almost not do without it.